Welcome back guys and I'm so sorry I forgot to post this Champions League well because tomorrow is the Champions League and Wednesday we got all the games being covered on, on the Cha Cha Champions League I cannot wait for the Cha Champions League this season so now I forgot to do, do, do my the Champions League video I was busy I, I was away and yeah and make sure you drop a like this could be the, the Champions League, so so please give me more likes and thanks for subscribing as always. I really appreciate it. all the fans who hit off triple the most and make sure you subscribe whatever you support and we're going to take some score predictions and we're going to do Tuesday, Wednesday, then doing tomorrow, then Wednesday because I lost my tr tr track of the scores, so I have to keep an, an update to see my team doing well. I support uh, both teams. I support PSC and Bayern and Madrid and Liverpool, so, well, we're not talking about support. So, um, make sure you drop a like and stop waffling and give me 17 likes. Well, just okay, give me 19 likes. As always, I really appreciate it watching the Premier League video yesterday, and they will they are enjoying it. And yep, this is the Champions League tomorrow night. I will be watching it tomorrow. I hope the Reds gonna win. I hopefully think so because it depends how they do well in this. First leg and let's get to our score predictions with AC Milan against Spurs now. That was last week week ago on a Tuesday night. You know I was away, so I was catching cut, cut up the score here. So um, so it's Milan against Spurs now. Now Milan are catching up after beating uh. The beating the Italian side, so I'm so excited that that the Champions League is back and so on. So this is going to be an interesting night. This will be the fifth competitive meeting between AC Milan and Tottenham Hotspur, with the English side on the inner cross each of the previous four. AC Milan and Spurs have last faced each other in 2020 and 11 campaign when they join together in the exact stage of UEFA for Champions League. Spurs won when on the African score. For both games won 1-16 with Peter Couch scoring the only goal of the tie. Spurs have played at the at the Giuseppe Mesa on three previous occasions in the UEFA Champions League with the victory come against Ishmael on two to beat the internal Zelle. 60% now my score person guys I, I was uh, thought in you know the best youtuber on the football on the planet and make, make sure you check him out now make sure you subscribe to Mr. Thought in and make him make him more popular because for no thought in is a uh, uh, he's a YouTuber and make sure you subscribe to him and he's and, and very nice he goes and he goes to Champions League every day between Tuesday and Wednesday which is kind of interesting and it comes back for the Premier League school prediction guys now um, make sure you check him out on YouTube right now so, 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 subscribe to him and he's the best YouTuber and I know it no more. Um, make sure, make sure you should subscribe to this guy, Mr. Thogden. And he is, uh, he is doing well. And hope, yep, yeah. okay. So, no, no, the awful, my score person, guys. I think Milan are, are looking to win this game. Uh, I would say 1 0 because that. That was the last week we we could go 
resolved so that that it was now yes PS against Bayern Munich now I was supporting Bayern Munich in the first leg but by the second leg I think it'll be PSG but I feel confident that PSG should win in the second leg well this the first leg score prediction guys I haven't done my first one yet so so let's continue to a match fact uh yes this could be very interesting to watch and let's continue our score pick score prediction sorry no I, I haven't done score predictions since I was busy uh you know uh going away or something I checked the uh, ugly results so here, here it is fun fact Paris Saint Germain have faced Barry Munich on eleven previous occasions with of oh, them coming in the UEFA Champions League, the teams are just sep separated by just one victory. Six for PSG and five for Bayern. While both sides have scored the same number of goals, 15 each, Paris Saint Germain have only lost one of the five home games against Bayern Munich in a UEFA Champions League. However, that came in more recent. One one nil in April twenty twenty one. After we win the first four among teams who have faced by Munich on ten plus occasion on the U U F A Champions League, Pat Patterson Man only with the highest percentage. I I I guess them fifty five percent six out of eleven. No, PSC won against Lille uh, four three. Massive drama shock here. And um, then Messi got. Got the last goal, and he smashed it. And I think I I would say one all. Then, so so the reaction is one nil. I was saying, yeah, yeah. I say one one in the first leg because they find it tough to watch. So it's one nil to Baron Baron. Please for that. Well. I was wrong, but I was predicting one all, but it's one nil in a in a reality. Next game is Club Bruges against Benfica. We know that's and uh, weeks ago, and I can in for tomorrow, which is Frankfurt against Napoli. Uh, yeah. So Club Bruges against Benfica. Right. It's a fun fact, guys, uh, for, for this game, but I haven't done any things since I did in the past, like doing my school presentation in the Champions League. I, I was busy doing, uh, you know, I did, but I m m miss a few in a group stage, so I need to, to do things to be better than, than the next season, so I promise I will keep up to date with the Champions League thing. Right, so let's continue. So this will be the first meeting between Club Bruges and ben Benfica in New Pretty Cup competition. The the Belgian side have oh very very Portuguese a uh, Portuguese Afa Champions League. This isn't winning four 0 away to El Porto and nothing four 0 at home to them in a group stage. Club Bruges have faced five different Portuguese sides in. European competition, Bovary Star, the FC Porto, March Mentimino, Sporting Paraga, Super CP, despite the being the first meeting with Benfica. Night. It's a fun. So, my school, my school prediction was, uh, I think it's 2 0. Well, the, the, re the reality was 2 0 in a previous game. So, I haven't done that school prediction, so, but I'll keep up to date next time. And then, and then next game is Borussia Dortmund against Chelsea. We know it's a massive shock. So after this, this will be shocking for Chelsea. I about the first joining fans going on. I don't know what what is wrong with them. So we have had to discuss this after this video. So 
Let's get into the Busa and Ch Chelsea score prediction, guys. <sighs> so this will be the first ever game between Borussia Dortmund and Chelsea in a in a pretty competition. Borussia Dortmund are winless in the last ten games against English teams in the pretty competition, with eight of those being defeats. The last victory against the um, English side dates back to back 2016. Valley won 2 1 the way to Spurs in the Europa League. Both of their goals in the game were scored by current Chelsea striker Pierre Kimi Bamiyan. Chelsea have only won th th uh, three of the 11 previous away games against the German sides. Right. Now, score person guys, uh, Bishop Dortmund are playing well. I don't like this club well. I like Drew Bannon, but I don't like the club guys because Drew Bannon, he is the fastest player because the, because they are pushing really hard to sign Liverpool this summer, and it's true. We have to check him out this summer if he signs, and also Matthias. Uh, Nunez from Wolves, we know the Portuguese guy, and so my score person guys, it's gonna be very hard to watch. Uh, I haven't been doing anything, so I think I think I might say to want to Dortmund, but because um, because I think they find it strong, hard to beat. Chelsea because Green Potter is on on rock bottom, but well, not on rock bottom. He's under pressure. I don't don't don't, don't, don't know what's wrong, wrong with the fans. So they booed the own fans of the Chelsea fans. So we had to discuss this moment of the fans being waiting for. So yes, yeah, two one. I was predicting two one, but it's for perennial to Dortmund. Now the man who scored is Karim Adeyemi, the man in German, and his run fire Sebastian Haller was was another team and he is strongest and he he he's not stronger than Balam because you know he's the fastest player. Then yeah, so I picked two one, but Anoki is one of the dominant. Well, I'm, well, congrats to dominant on the previous game. Now tomorrow's game. Now we're gonna put it tomorrow to Wednesday. It's in fact Frankfurt against Napoli. Now Napoli were the current current giants, giants on top of the city A and because I think they gonna win the title this year, but I don't know well this could be happening guys, this could be very happening. So it's a fun fact for tomorrow. This will be the third meeting between in fact Frankfurt and Napoli. With the German side winning the previous two in the last 16 of a UEFA Cup in 1994-95, Bonneal and home away, Eintracht Frankfurt have only lost two of the last 11, match of 11 matches against Italian opponents to date. Going a bit in, in each of the most recent, the, the last Italian side to beat them were Palermo in October, October in 2006 to one then the Alpha Cup stage. The National Napoli have won the the last two away games against German side in European competition. Now my score person guys, I'm going for a story win for Napoli because they are a strong team to be because they're not underdogs. Well, they well, I. I'd like to see Napoli to beat Frankfurt tomorrow because it's like very tough to say. And go for a 2-0 win to Napoli. Kavica, Kovacic, Serie to score. And Victor Osmahen to score 2-0 for us tomorrow night. Now he's go go going to win. And I hopefully they're going to hunt Victor Osmahen and Kavica, Kovacic, Serie were also two best players in the same same team. Because I like the way Kavica crafted Sixth Serie 
the man play for Napoli and he is on fire and he scored more goals in his Serie A this season. I think he has been winning a goal in Booth in his Serie A on BT because I think Kovic has scored more goals between him or Virto Osman because they find a two top top players who are tougher than Kovic at two Usman. So I'm going with two nil to Napoli, Kovic and Victor Usman to score two nil. This game it's my team Liverpool playing Madrid. Now this could be the this could be a so shocking end of the last previous finals since I lost one nil. Uh, Vinny Jr. got the first goal. Yep, and I was so disappointed, but I still support the same club I support. So, ah, uh, yeah. Well, that's it. Good news tomorrow. Good news tomorrow is Luis Diaz is available for tomorrow's game against Real Madrid. Clash tomorrow night at eight o'clock. Hopefully, he should start. Please comment down below. Should Diaz start or bench? Please tell me why, Liverpool fans. So let, let's continue. So Liverpool won the first three matches against Real Madrid in the European competition between uh, nineteen eighty one two thousand nine. Since then, the Reds are winless in the six games against them, with five of those ending in defeat. This this will be Real Madrid's fourth trip to Anfield to face Liverpool in the UEFA Champions League after losing a. First one four nil in March two thousand nine. Now I'm being in a last two trips. I'm not going to see it. I'll go three nil in October two thousand fourteen. Nil nil draw in April twenty one. Liverpool are winless in the last six matches against Real Madrid. The longest one victory against an opponent in European Cup UEFA Champions League. Real Madrid have only one of the previous seven away games against. English size in the UFA Cup, Cup Champions League with the first victory coming against Chelsea at Stafford Bridge in April 2022. Uh, after the losing uh, opening ma ma match of 22 UFA Champions League campaign, 4 1 v Napoli, Liverpool have, have won each of the last five. European matches. Now, they are two main rivals in the uh, Champions League because they used to be rivals of, of, of history because Madrid got more titles than the other clubs because they will have six, so they're hunting to win seven, but I surely hope so. This is going to be a very tight call. I'm going for two two draw. This could be very tough to say. Two two, the score is going to be because Vinny Junior is suspended, so he won't play tomorrow night. So I think it's going to be Cody Kakpo, the new signing, and Darren Nun and Darren Nunes to score two, and Madrid. I think it's Benzema. And uh, Karim Benzema and probably uh, Wad and Wad Drakiyoko. I mean, yeah. So two two. Nunes, Takpo, Karim Benzema, and Wad Drakiyoko to score two two because they're they're top players. Well. Watch, watch Riccio and the Benzema, Nunes, Cody Kako, the score 2-2. Two, two. And the second leg, hope the Reds have the chances to beat the Giants of the Champions League history. Now, Wednesday game is Upper Leipzig, Leipzig against Man City. Now, I think Man City are good. In a moment, because they because they uh, lost more games than because they have two wins, and yeah. So the two previous meetings between Upper Leipzig and Manchester City came in the UEFA Challenge League last season, 
with a total of 12 goals being scored across the two matches. Man City 6 3, Opel Leipzig, Leipzig, and Opel Leipzig 2 1. Man City, this will be the third time that Opel Leipzig have been drawn against English opposition in all UEFA Champions League 1 16. After winning both games versus Spurs in the in 2019-20, the German side were beaten by both legs by Liverpool in a 2020-21 campaign. Manchester City have only lost one of the previous 17 matches against the German side in a UEFA Champions League. With the Zilisin scoring an average of 2.6 goals per game across these victors. Now, the score prediction, guys. Leipzig and Man City. They are tough. Well, I think it's going to be 3-1 to Man City because they're a good team. Arden Hand to score and Via Mares. And wait, I'm going to give him two goals to Haaland. One goal, we have Mares. He is unstoppable. He is scoring in a, a, a cup than each competition. So, I like... I'd, I'd like to see Haaland and we, we had managed to score 3-1 and for Leipzig, Christopher Nukonku, the man who's coming Chelsea on July. He is a top signing and hopefully he can make it. So quick, quick Christopher Nukonku, Haaland and so two Haalands then one. We are Mares, so there's two hands to score, then one more. We are Mares. Next game, Anter against Porto. Now, this could be the end of the game, so make sure you drop a like. So, all four of the previous meetings between Eternal I Zale, NFC Porto, Kim and the other Champions League, and Tosno 5, the Italian side were unbeaten in the Tosno 4, Tosno 5, 1, or 16. Both, both, before both teams won a game each in Tosno 5, or Tosno 6, group stage. This will be the 10th time that Antonio Zale have hosted a Portuguese club in European competition. While they are unbeaten in the previous nine, each of being victories, they have a way to defeat was Bush was Bovista in 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 Nigeria in Nigeria October nineteen ninety one. FC Porto have only lost one of the previous seven matches against Italian and Portland in the European Cup in European competition. UEFA Champions Cup competition is the long defeat came away to Juventus in the UEFA Champions League. One sixteen second leg in the Tosno 20, 3-2. 20, However, Sergio Concicao still progressed from the tight on the aggregate. Now, Enter and Poto. Now, I think Enter are, are strong to beat. I would say Poto. Um, and go for one nil home win to enter. The man who's going to score that that he got barred from Chelsea is the man himself, Wally Lee Lukaku. Lukaku is on stock I'm going to say one nil to enter Milan. Lukaku to score one nil against Porto on a Wednesday night class. I come here so. Enter to win, Man City, uh, draw b between, yes, so draw, win for Napoli, and th so that's quite a, so, Napoli win, draw at, um, then draw at, uh, draw at Anfield, then, then, away win for Man City, and home win at Enter, 1-0, and, uh, and a uh, reaction, other score is 1-0 to Milan, 1-0 Bayern, 2-0 to Benfica and 1-0 to Dortmund. I think Dortmund 
should go through. Yeah, I think so. Because they're fine a tough team. So, guys, they are. I think they're orange dogs between be, between Bayern or Dortmund because they because they're fine and tough to beat. So, that's quite it, guys. Send us your score person for tomorrow night between Napoli and Frankfurt and Liverpool and Real Madrid, the two the two rivals of the Champions League history. And please comment down below and watch your score person for tomorrow night and send us your down on this YouTube. I will see you soon for like two as Santiago Bar Bernabeu and I'll see you very soon. Take care, guys. Enjoy, good luck watching the Champions League and take care guys, peace.